And throughout the night, we've been speaking with Western New York natives who now call Florida home. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Hannah Bueller continues our coverage with that story. I'm worried about my kids that are all over Florida because I'm not with all of them. It's Hurricane Matthew's uncertainty. That's the hardest part for Western New York native Dana Lewis. She evacuated her home in Cape Canaveral Thursday morning, leaving everything behind. I just looked around looking at everything going, we're leaving everything. You know, we might not have a home to come back to. We boarded up the back and we taped our windows and everything like that. And we just took all of our furniture, put it up on countertops and put it upstairs to try to get away from flooding. And Lewis isn't the only one who had to leave. Dock is underwater. After flood water started taking over Gino DeGiro's dock, he knew it was time to go. He's now staying with his son close to Orlando, and although he's not in the direct path of the storm, this is it. This is the start of it. He's still feeling very much a part of Matthew. We're just, it's, it's really nerve wracking waiting to see what's going to happen. Matthew, the most powerful hurricane to hit Florida in more than a decade, has everyone on high alert. I'm going to head inside before we get this next band that seems to be coming in because the trees are starting to move. Kristen Bray grew up in Cheektowaga and now is a teacher in Palm Beach County. This is her first hurricane. Experiencing feeder bands coming through. We'll have like a lot of wind and a lot of rain and then nothing. And then a lot of wind, woo, a lot of rain and then nothing like right now. She says it's a ghost town. Provisions and supplies at stores near her home are sold out. If you did get gas, you were lucky because a lot of gas stations currently at this moment are out of gas. And those I talked to tonight living through this hurricane tell me they are keeping in constant communication with their relatives here in western New York. It is the uncertainty and the unknown that is the hardest thing to come to grips with. At the live desk tonight, Hannah Bueller, 7 Eyewitness News.